Right, so we're in a new game. We're on the tropical map. We've got an extra large map. Let's actually look at the biggest towns first. Maybe we can try and connect those. So Ashby Woods, or Woods, I don't know, is the biggest town. Uh, and there's a fuel refinery next to it, which is pretty much useless because they don't need... Oh yeah, so I should probably explain. So each town... <laughs> I should probably explain some more of this game if you don't know anything about it. So each town has, like, requirements. This one requires food and machines. And basically, you just have to... Well, you don't have to, but... If you want to make money, if you provide them with those goods, you can make the town grow and it'll get bigger. Um, so if we wanted to provide food to Ashby Woods, we would need to go to a food processing plant over here, which is where we get the little food. But to make food, we need two of these guys, which is two grain, which we get from a farm. So that will produce grain for us that we need to take to here, and then we can take that food to Ashby Woods, which actually might be a good way to start, because none, none of this is too far apart, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, let's go for a... well, it's 1850. We only have horse-drawn carriages, so we can build the cheapest road and everything should be fine, because we really don't want to spend that much money. Okay, you don't need to flash at me. I've played this game before. <laughs> it's fine. James always starts with food. Well, I've been playing a lot of this game in my free time, because when I... oh boy, when I was sick, I was playing... Oh, so this must be the new, okay, yeah, 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 so this is the new update, curvy or straight roads, I was like, why is my road not curving, it's because this is the new tool, cool, alright, that's actually kind of good, um, yeah, I played so, yeah, yeah, this is the new update that just came out today, because, <laughs> yeah, so this, this is what I was saying, this is what you could do before, you could build straight roads like this, but this didn't always work if you're coming off an existing junction, so it's really nice, that, okay, can this stop, dude, can I turn off tips in this game? Uh, I don't know how I would. Advanced? Why would it be advanced? Interface? Guide system. I don't need that. I assume that's what it is. Cool. Um, yeah, so you can turn that to, to curved roads now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Stop flashing it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Actually really annoying. Um, so, now, building roads is obvi obviously costs us money, and sometimes you can go to a straight connection like that. And actually, in this case, it was pretty good because it's mostly flat. Sometimes you want to build in smaller sections because it tries to charge you a bunch of money. Right, we need to get down to Ashby Woods. Uh, well, after we've, so, anyway, we've connected this, pl or the, the farms to the food processing plant. Then I think we'll go from here. We got like 4.8 million. We're probably fine to spend a little bit of extra money just doing this. In, ooh. Oh, see, this is that's where it gets expensive. Uh, okay, okay, this this is where we want to, you know, build smaller segments. Mm -mm. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Uh, also, Thanks, Chaos Music Addict, for the resub, and Dan Sala for the gift sub as well. Very appreciated. Do a shell challenge. Oh, funny you say that, because that's the video that's coming out today. After I finish streaming, uh, I'll publish the uh, the shell challenge I did. I did. Oh, this is so hilly. This is gonna be. <laughs> See, this is where the hilliness of a map becomes really difficult. Uh, I did um, Vixella's shell challenge. Nah, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, and I might do my own at one point in the future, but we also still need to go through the previous gallery video from a while ago. Uh, where it was like me searching for stuff, so I'll record that soon. Oh my god, this is getting expensive. Do I try to like minimize the cost here or should I just go for it, go for gold? Um, Osiris, thanks so much for that. Um... So I think what we'll do, eventually, not eventually, like probably in the next week or so, is we'll do the the gallery video where I search for stuff, because that's a long time coming. And then, oh my god, this is so expensive. <laughs> I forgot that damn hills are so expensive. Uh, and then, after that, we can do a shell challenge. Because I, I feel like we should do that. Seems like the new hot thing to do. Right, so I'm going to try and go around this. Let's not go through this. Alright, here we go. Yeah, look at this. Alright, so this 
nice little connection. And that'll take us all the way over to there. So we've got all this stuff built, but we still need to actually do truck shop, truck shops, truck stops, uh, where we can pick up goods. So now something else you can do in this is basically we need this. Uh, this is where we pick up the stuff from the farm. We need it to be connected to that. So if it's highlighted like highlighted like that, it's connected. So we don't have to be right next to it. We can actually go pretty far away. Actually, do on this side. No, no, no. I'll do it on this side because there's more room to expand it. Um, and we can make these bigger if we need them to be. I only need one thing. Actually, let's do it more like this because it's better. Because if we do it sideways like this, it means that the trucks and well, I guess at this point the horse and cart can easily go in instead of doing a 90 degree turn. So that'll be good. So that's now connected to that farm, which is great. Then we need them basically go from here to another truck. Uh, well, we can do a truck drop off point actually here. We don't need a whole truck stop. So I think what I'll do is go like this. We, I don't have, I would use one way roads for this, but I don't actually have one way roads yet. So this is what I like to do. Just do like a little turn around and I'm actually purposely building this before this road, which will make more sense later. So we use a truck unload stop. This is where we can dump the grain. So we can dump it off there. They can deliver it to this food processing plant. Then we can do this guy again, because we're going to need to pick up the food. Um, which I guess we can do further away. The further away we can get, the better, honestly. Oh, this is going to really, really? Oh, no, I've still got, I'm getting misled because I still have that selected. I was going to say, that's really far away. And go here. That's pretty far away. That's pretty good. Uh, and then we can get this guy to come into here. So then the food will go to here. I don't don't ask me how the, the plant actually gets the food to here, but they do. And then I pick it up and then we'll take it all the way down over here to Ashby Woods. where we will unload it here where they want food. So all over this side. So as long as the building is highlighted, it's getting served. So that looks like a pretty good spot because that gets all our food locations. Right, so we're going to do a new line and we're going to go pick up grain at Saltish Exchange, I guess, and deliver it here to Green Lane. So this is going to be Ashby. Wait, how, how do they spell it? Oh, yeah, it was like that. Ashby, I'm just going to I'm just naming it after the town we're taking it to. It's probably not a good way to do this, but that's what we're going to do. Ashby Grain is going to be that line. I'm going to go from here to here must be Ashby food. Cool. We've got those two lines. That's kind of all we need right now. Oh, we also have a really simple uh, logs to planks line right here we could do. And then is there anywhere we can take the planks? <laughs> anywhere near? Oh, over here. Kind of nearby. Oh, then we can deliver them to uh, Willen Hall. That's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> going out with my kids. Thanks for stopping by Glitter. And thanks for the continued support as always. Really appreciate it. Okay, so we need a road depot so we can actually buy vehicles. So we're going to do that. I guess here would actually be fine because it's kind of near Saltish as well. I'm probably saying all these names wrong, but whatever. So we're going to get this here. And now we can buy our vehicles. It is the year 1850. So all we've got are horse-drawn carriages. So, and then go 18 kilometers an hour. So it's pretty fast. It's pretty exciting. Um, also, thanks Nuts96 for that sub and Oblivion Lights for the, the resub as well for 28 months. Uh, does this mean the previous map is finished? No! This is completely separate. This is just the live stream Let's Play that I'm doing. Because I wanted to play the game, basically. Let's do 20. We have plenty of money. Let's do 20 of these. It's a lot, but we're going to do it. Chuck them on an Ashby Grain line. And now what we want to do is... Oh, yeah, look at this grain. So the rate of that line is 87 annual throughput of grain. And then because this plant takes two grain and turns it into one food, we want the rate of the annual throughput of the other line to be about half. But because their length is so much longer, probably 20 vehicles would also be kind of about right. So we'll see how we go. I mean, we'll just try it. And then we can always move the vehicles around. We can shift them around to other lines if we've got too many. So I'm really not too worried about overdoing it. At least not at this point. Oh no, you burnt your burritos a little bit. Oh, that sucks. 
I'm sorry. Yes, this game has horses. This Transport Fever 2 has horses before Sims 4. See, here they are. Yeah! Here we go! Let's go pick up some sweet grain. And we can go like this. And check them out. Yeah! Now we can. Let's ride real time across the map. <laughs> let's go! It's gonna take a while. Uh, it's gonna take a long, long while. Oh, I think we just had an auto save. Alright, here we go. We got four grain on board. You can see the bottom left. We're going currently 13 kilometers an hour. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Rose Halliwell, thanks for the gift sub. Alright, yeah! Alright, let's get out of this. I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> it's actually gonna take forever. Like, let's speed up the game a little bit. Even even when we go three times speed, uh, I'm actually gonna... So what we can do, so the date is progressing down the bottom right here. We can uh, change the speed at the, which the date progresses. I kinda wanna do it about maybe half speed. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's go far. Let's go one time speed because... In the 1800s, it's kinda, the game is kinda slow. It really picks up around 1900. And you know what? I should probably figure out what else we can do for uh, these lines. What is the rate of this? 33 is the rate of this line, which actually should be fine compared to the other one. Probably needs to be a few more vehicles on it to even match it, but for now it'll be fine. All right, let's go full speed. Now let's have a look. We do have more farms nearby if we need it, which is good. Um, so we also have... Uh, Soltash needs, uh, construction materials, which is a little red brick icon. And we have a plant up here, but we need stone. And I'm not re- Oh, there's stone over here, but that's really- That seems like something to do in the future where we can just tunnel directly there, because right now you'd have to go all the way around. Not ideal. The other thing we saw was the logs. Which you could do logs to planks, and then planks to tools, and then tools to willen hall. Pretty much a straight line. That's a possible thing we could do. The other thing I would want to look into doing is, um, not that. Looking at our towns. Let's have a look at the other largest town. Malmsbury, Malmsbury. Over here. Anything we could do here that would help us out. We got some planks that we could do. It needs food and construction materials. Construction materials could be made here. We've got stone quarry there, so we could actually do this and take it back over there. Mm, I was hoping, I was kind of hoping some of our biggest towns would be closer together, but you can see they're all really far apart. Uh, this one's right in the middle. It's not that bad. Because I kind of want to set up some more... Ugh, Ashby Woods as well, man. This one is, this, <laughs> this spot here, surrounded by the mountains and the water, is just like the worst. It's so expensive to do anything in this year, so let's not. Um, alright, so why don't we do... Should we do the logs line? Or we could do, let's have a look, we got oil well there. Can we take that anywhere? Not really. We have a refinery and I don't even see one. Oh, up there. Oh, we could take oil there to the refinery and then turn it into plastics. That's a whole thing. Hmm. Okay, why don't we do, let's, let's focus on Ashby Woods for a second. So if we have a look at this, this is our little overlay. Um, and we can see we got residential here, commercial over here, and industrial there. People usually want to move from residential to one of these two areas. But I think this town is kind of too small to even worry about that right now. Okay, go away. Uh, I was gonna set up like a little internal sort of transport network, which I guess we could from there to here, but... It's usually better if we can connect, uh... More towns, but... Oh man, this okay, but that's not gonna work. Let's do something. I think we should, you know what? Okay, let's do, let's do the planks thing. Cause if we build up, um, I'm actually gonna build a new road here just so we can get it there quicker. Cause I was gonna say, if we build up Willen Hall, then we can have a connection going to Ashby Woods with like a bus or something, or maybe eventually a train. Um, and then that would be pretty good. Could even go over to Saltash as well if we can, Get that built up too. Oh yeah, because Soltash and Willenhall both need the tools. 
So that would actually be good for both towns. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, Lil, thanks for the, the sub. Sorry, I don't know how to say the name. Uh, now let's go. You know what? Let me turn on uh, contours. Just so I can see where the land is sloping up a lot. We can try and avoid it a little bit. So we're going to go over to the tools uh, place. Actually, you know what I might do? Uh, let's start up delivering logs now. So by the time we finally connect uh, the planks to the other side, we already have logs getting delivered. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait a whole while for the whole thing to get booted up. This is actually really annoying. How far away I can place this? How is this still connected? Oh, you got to look. Wait a second. If these are both connected. <laughs> if I put this, how does this work? Could I pick up logs and then deliver them to the same place? I don't know how that works. It's not too far away. They're both highlighted. <laughs> if the places are highlighted, they're both in range. You know what? If we do this, you pick up on one platform, deliver to the other platform, and it just keeps... We have one vehicle that loops around in a circle. <laughs> Does that work? Seems like a really stupid thing to do, but if it actually works, I'm, I'm about it. All right. Here we go. From here to here. <laughs> All right, so let's just make sure we set it up so it knows what it's doing. So pick up logs. Go here. Unload logs. Cool. Let's get one vehicle on that. I'm not going to name the line yet because if it <laughs> doesn't work, there's no point. All right, let's go. Where are my logs at? Does it work? Consumers. I'm not seeing any consumption. <sighs> I think we might actually have to take it somewhere else. They're both in range. Why doesn't this work? <laughs> I don't think it works because it would already it was like as soon as we started vehicles on this line this already had grain and I don't think this is working man that would have been good all right let's delete this so I guess what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to like artificially give them distance to travel even though they're in range completely but whatever <laughs> slightly annoying but we can work with it uh, put two trucks up opposite. I guess you could if you just had one here and then one here. But you know what? The thing is, the the, the further you deliver, like the further you, uh, something travels in delivery, you know, I'm going to do it on the other side. The more money you get. So to be honest, it might actually be worth having a, a maybe I'll even just go. No, let's not go too far. Let's not get, let's not get crazy. Let's not get carried away here. Let's just go here. It's a little bit further away. Um. And also, Sazi, thanks for that uh, resub, and Jemamai, thanks for that sub, and thanks for the 100 bits, Larry James. Very appreciated. Right, so then we're going to go down here. I'll do a little drop off. A little, little loops that I like to do. Eventually, we'll probably rebuild. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh. Oh, we'll, oh. <laughs> it was auto save. Oh, look at that. Um, we will probably eventually change that. Anyway, so line one. Wait, those two stops. Add station. Okay, it might like this better. Hopefully. Uh, right. The aim of the game is to make money. Pretty much. So this is where we... I guess we're going to salt... We'll call this saltash logs. Because this is going to be... We're sort of taking it towards a saltash... Uh, no, we're not. That's all right. Will and Hall. Let's rename that, actually. We'll name it after the, the town we're sort of going towards, I guess. That way, is that how it was spelled? Will and Hall. Yes. Cool. All right, so that's that one. All right, so now does that have logs? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that actually works now. All right, so manage vehicles. Let's get more vehicles on this line. <clears throat> I'm just doing it this way because I'm lazy. I could just go in there and order vehicles. Let's do eight. How much is that going to get us? 55 rate. That's probably good to start off with. Then we can up that. 
Um, yeah, the aim of the game is to make money, basically by delivering, making money by cr creating production chains. Oh my lord. Oh no, this is okay. They just, so what they're doing at the moment, because we have so many vehicles on this line, they automatically space themselves out. So these guys will sit here longer just so that they're further apart. So that, you know, like this, you can see this line, they're sort of more evenly spaced. That's kind of what they're doing here. Uh, Ty Tyron Jar, thanks for that sub. All right, so anyway, that's going now. And then we want to build this road down to this tools factory. So we're going to go around this farm. See you, Lars. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Mm -mm. Man, I love this game. This game is so addictive. Okay. Where am I going? Over there. Oh, I probably... Oh, I should have just used this road. Kind of annoying. I don't really want them to do a stupid turn like this. It won't really matter now, but in the future, they're turning around these 90 degree corners. It's going to be so slow. So I'm going to do that. That's kind of dumb too, but whatever. All right. So then we want to do a little truck unload stop. You know what? I'm going to do this behind. Be a little sneaky. If we connect like that, it's connected to the, uh, the, the factory. It's going to be a You know what? I can use the straight roads now. Sweet. So we're going to do this, and then this can go... Here. Mithla, thanks for that sub. And then this can come like this. I guess we'll just do that. Alright, so that's going to be our little unload stop here. So this is where we will drop off the planks. And then we just need a place to pick them up. Gonna be here somewhere. As far away as we can. In this case, we want it to be far away because it means the less distance we have to travel, it means we'll get there quicker. Now, the other reason I do them on the side of the road like this, at least I found, if I do them, if you do them like this, especially if they're really close to the to the road like that, and they have this tiny little that tiny little section of road here that's in between, only one vehicle can go through at a time, so then they all queue up here. So the longer that sort of individual road section is, the better, which is also why I just do it this way, because then I can just make it longer. It's also a smoother transition. At least that's why I do it. Top tips. Look at that. Pretty good. Oh my god, I'm streaming. That's right, I am streaming. How cool is it? Oh, I love I love streaming. Every time I stream, I'm like, yeah, I love streaming. So I, I get, it's a sign. I got to stream more, basically. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be our Willen Hall planks. All right. We're going to get a bunch of horse and carts for this. I don't know how many we're going to need. It's like way longer than that line. No, well, maybe not way long. Maybe twice as long. So maybe at least. Wait, hang on. How many logs makes a plank? Two. Okay. So it'd be half. So maybe about the same amount of vehicles, really. Let's do 10. That's probably about right. Well, we'll find out anyway. All right, so the rate of this line is, what, 55? Then the rate of... Uh, I can't click on those. They're not out far enough yet. Of this line, it's 25, which is actually about spot on. So basically, the reason I'm looking at rate here, if you don't know, that's how much we can deliver on this line within a year. Um, yeah, annual throughput per station. So... Because we're taking logs from here to make planks, um, we want those rates to match. However, two logs makes one plank. So we basically want the rate of this line that takes the planks to be about half of this one, half of the supply. So that's kind of why I keep looking at that. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do with that. So it's kind of about right. We could probably, we probably want more vehicles on these lines. It's very low. We should probably just up all of these. Um, I'm wondering if we need more on the food line. Pretty good actually, pretty good amount that we've got going on. Um, we're supplying 59 down here. It's got zero. Wait, have we not even delivered food yet? Is this the first one? <laughs> I think it's the first time we've ever delivered food. It's fine, they're finally getting food. Here we go. Yeah, eleven thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean it seems well actually I think it would have been a little bit more because we had a negative. How much do we actually get paid for four bits of food? What fifteen thousand dollars? Expensive food. 
<laughs> I want this game now. Where do I get it? Oh, it's pretty good. It's just on Steam. Um, Alright, so... I might get some more food vehicles. Maybe I'll get more green vehicles. We've got plenty of green waiting here. By the way, I might actually... Let's make this little platform bigger. Because if it's too small... You'll see the little exclamation appear and it means we're losing some of the product. Although, it doesn't really matter if we're losing product here at the farm. At all. Like, that really doesn't matter. I might do... I don't want to do too many on this line because you can see there's already quite a lot on this line. I might do another... 10 might be a bit much. Let's do another 5 and see how we go. Uh, and then on the food line... Oh, see, this is where it's a problem. So now we're losing food because they're not picking it up consistently enough. Which is a problem because we're putting the effort in to make the food. So if we're losing the food, that's food that we want. So let's just make this bigger so we definitely get it all. And then let's get some more vehicles on the food line because as you can see, there's a huge gap between where the first vehicles are and the last ones are. So this one, I might actually get another 10. Um, that's so we have 30 vehicles on that line. So the rate of that's going to be 49. What's this one? Is that 106? That's actually pretty spot on again. We, we kind of want it to be about half. Um, <clears throat> this is one of my first ever streams I've ever seen live. I've been following you on YouTube for about six years. And then Glamophonic outing me and exposing me. Saying that's how often he streams. Lol, once every six years. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, all right. We should probably get more log vehicles too, I think. Because we, I mean, I feel like we could really, we could make a lot more, basically if we're moving more stuff, we can make a lot more money. So I guess there's not really any reason not to. I wish it's double. Is that too many on this really short run though? I don't know, let's find out. There's only one way to find out. Uh, planks over here, this might need to be a little bit bigger too, I'm thinking. And then... Before we get too much further ahead, we should probably start actually delivering tools down to Willenhall. So let's see where they need tools. They need them just over here in this little tiny section. So we'll deliver there and we'll get a truck station with two platforms. Let's make it quite big because we're going to be delivering tools to Willenhall and also to Saltash uh, from, from this one plant. So we'll use both of these. Uh, I shall still go along the side like this because what I'm going to do... Make sure we have enough room. Is yes, I'm going to say configure. I'm going to add an exit on the back. So to get to uh, Willenhall, we'll come out the front. To get to Soltash, we'll go out the back of this and go that way. These names are so weird compared to the Asia map. Yeah, these are the European name set, I guess. <laughs> and then, like, if you've been watching my, like, Asian uh, map playthrough. Or Asian names playthrough. It's also on a tropical map. Yeah, we have uh, way different names. I feel like I can pronounce these ones more consistently, though the other one. I feel like I've messed up so many of the other ones. Saltash is such a weird name. I'm probably saying it wrong though. It's probably like saltish or something. I don't know. Saltash. Saltash. You did well with Asia. Yay! I tried. I mean, also comments helped me out as well for pronouncing them. Alright, that's pretty good. We'll just connect there. Because then we have a nice connection from here directly to Saltash. Uh, and then, got one to here. So let's also do a truck stop over here in Saltash. Over this side, looks like where they want the tools. And then what we might also start doing, potentially, is getting a train. Trains are expensive though, so I don't want to do that too soon. But it would be nice to get like a train from Ashby Woods. I don't know where to go though, I guess to Willenhall, because going to Saltash would be pretty bad. We could maybe do a bus to there, and then the train could continue this way to Hexham and all out. There's a Saltash on the border between Cornwall and Devon in the UK. You're pronouncing it perfectly. Sweet. That's good to know. Alright, new line. Willenhall Branch. Willenhall Branch! To George Street. Uh, so this is Willenhall Tools. And then the other one, on the branch to St. John's Road, this is Saltash Tools. There we go. Cool. Yeah, that should be good. Let's get a new depot over this side because the other one's really far away. It's like all the way over there. So let's do one over here so we have the vehicles actually here. 
bloody branch. <laughs> what? Stupid auto mod. <laughs> the auto mod blocked one of the commands in chat. It's like, ooh, that's two adults. Stupid auto mod. I don't know what the settings of auto mod are, but it's wrong. <laughs> that's funny. Alright. Uh, I don't know why I tried so hard to rotate that. It didn't really matter. Alright, so to get tools to the town here, we don't need that many. Let's maybe start with three. Let's see how that goes. And then to go to the other one, we're going to need more just because of the distance. So let's go maybe like eight. And then if we need more, we can do more. All right. So now these guys here are delivering planks. This place can start making tools. Hopefully. I guess we got to actually wait for a delivery because I don't have anything stored at the moment. Tools will go here and then these vehicles can start delivering them. All right, there we go. We got some tools. So there's tools over here waiting on this side. There's salt ash tools. This side has no tools. That's sad. Will and hole ain't getting nothing. I mean, they will eventually. I think it's just going to be like they need less. Oh, actually, they need more. So why are they? Unless one of them already took the tools. Did the first one? No. I don't know. Just didn't get any. Oh well. Oh no. Now now they've got some. Anyway, that's good. That's going. Now, I'm wondering, we should probably get more vehicles on the planks line. There's like 54 of them waiting there. Let's go, we got 10, let's double that. Why not? And then this one. It's pretty good, this line's going pretty well. I feel like we can get more on this on the logs. Get another four, so it's up to 20. Just to really get this moving, because we still have a bunch waiting here. I mean... We're never really going to be able to move probably all of them with the horse and cart anyway. It's kind of hard to move a lot with horse and cart. <laughs> you can try, but it's kind of hard to keep up. So we'll do our best. But yeah, this is definitely going to start overloading any second now. So uh, my clone vehicles come, came from over here, not from over here, which is way closer. Slightly annoying. This reminds me of City Skylines. It's similar in a way, but in this game we're focusing on like basically public transport and cargo deliveries rather than city building. So it's way more in-depth in that sense, anyway. No gambling. No, I don't think I have gambling on my channel. I think I specifically turned it off because I had a problem on Gluon's channel. Um, and I wanted to prevent, you know, an addiction. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Sweet. Now, let's have a look at how all our lines are doing, actually. So our tools line is losing a lot of money, but that's only because we just made it, so it hasn't really got going yet. And the woolen hole tools line is also losing money, but again, that's because we just made it. All our other lines are actually making us a bunch of money, which is fantastic. Even though it looks like we've been losing money the entire time, which we, I guess, technically have been, but it's because we've been investing a lot in infrastructure and building. But I think if we just let it run, we would, we would make a profit, which is really good. We got a lot of planks waiting here. We, we're at least... Okay, they're all coming now. <laughs> here they come! That's what we need. Yeah, we might need more. So actually, what's the rate of this logs line now? Uh, 170. So we need a rate of what? Uh, but what is the rate of this one? 64. No, nope, that's emissions. What am I talking about? Pfft. Over here. 62. Which is definitely not enough. So we need to get some more. Let me actually keep this up here. 77. That's still not enough. More! 90. Well, that, now that's a little too much. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, there we go. Did they all climb from over here again? Man. This is why I should just do it manually so they spawn there instead. Anyway, it's fine. Um. I don't have Twitch points set up. Oh, yeah, I did. Ha I do have Twitch. Like, I have the thing, but I turned them off because I hadn't set any. I don't really know what to do with my Twitch. What should we do with Twitch points? Like, I, I don't know really what I could do with them. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so, how's this going? Is this... So we've got pl plenty of food here. Do we want to get maybe more vehicles on this line? We could get more grain vehicles too. 135. 
Man, there's a lot of vehicles on the line, but I feel like we could... There's still loads of green there, so that's why I'm like, I definitely feel like we could get more. Maybe not double the amount. Double might be too much. Let's do another 10. Whoops. You know what? No, let me do it this way. <laughs> in case it puts them in the wrong place again. It's also kind of easier. Another 10 of those. Rain! <laughs> redeem a song. I don't have any songs to redeem. <laughs> this isn't a side cam. I don't have a side cam. Although I do have a webcam. Hmm. Now, let's see. So this, 189, which this guy can only output 200, for the record, by the way. He can't output any more. At least not yet. I, does this... That's 400. Do they... Oh, no, I guess they never upgrade. I thought they, for some reason, I thought they did upgrade. I guess it's just the actual these guys upgrade. So I guess maybe that doesn't upgrade. Anyway, so that can only output 200 anyway, so if we have the rate higher than 200, there's no point. What side cam? Oh, I wonder if I have. Uh, how do I? Video capture device. Uh, webcam. It's trying to add it. No, oh, hello. Hey. <laughs> it's not a great angle. See, side cam needs to be more like you know. That's more side cam. Hey. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, wait, I, was, I got very distracted just then. But a side cam is worth getting distracted for. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look at these guys. I think we need any more of these now, right? Because if we... This needs to be a rate of 100, I think. So I'm just going to double these. 60 vehicles. 112. It's actually probably too much, but yeah. Let's try to get this to rate 200 and try and max out this farm. Maybe another five would do it. Um, whoops, not 51. Five. We've nearly run out of money, but we're also making money, so it's probably fine. Right, so this is 209. That's pretty good. So we've now. Oh my gosh. Here we are, 1855, and we got a traffic jam of horses. It's probably fine. It's fine. <laughs> I need to. I need to have the camera full screen though, so it blocks everything else. Otherwise, it kind of looks dumb. <laughs> ah, now I understand why the side camp's so fun. <laughs> now I know why Doctor Gluon has it. Ah, we don't need to do traffic fixes. The only reason we're having this is because we just spawned a bunch of vehicles out of there. <clears throat> Look at, you can see all the vehicles. All, these are all horse and carts we have running everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. Actually, how many vehicles do we have? Can I? Oh, I guess no. We can see it here, I think. If we go vehicles, we have 161 horse and carts. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of them, but we're doing well. There's still a bunch of planks here, which I guess is a good thing, but it probably means we're getting a lot of tools over here. It does, but it seems like we're keeping up so far, which is good. We could maybe even have a few more vehicles on this line. We'll see. Um. Sad to the, when the horses get poor condition. The weird, yeah, the weird thing in this game is um, your vehicle's condition goes down. And what it does is it increases the emissions. So a vehicle will get like louder over time, which makes sense for like, I guess, uh, vehicles with engines and, and diesel motors and all that kind of stuff. They get older. But the funny thing is you can keep a horse and cart forever. Like <laughs> they will just keep it. If you never replace them, they will stay existing forever. And they just get louder. So these horses are going to be working for 100 years if we keep them. We can do that. <laughs> but uh, maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Um... 
The horses just start moaning. That'll be that'll be fine. They love it. <laughs> the horses love it. Imagine the road maintenance, all the. Um, actually, speaking of which, we could actually check that. Because <laughs> I think if we're going here, maintenance on vehicles, we're spending half a mil. This is kind of. I, I don't really understand the economy in this game. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't think it really accounts for inflation or anything, considering we started with $5 million in 1850. That's a lot of money. And now running. It's, we're in 1856 right now. We're spending half a million dollars a year on maintaining our horse and cards. That's a lot. What would that? What can someone do them? Like, can someone Google what the inflation rate would be on five hundred thousand, I, I guess, U.S. dollars from eighteen fifty six to now? Because <laughs> I think it would be a lot. Uh, maintenance on roads is actually zero. We don't pay any. Hmm, that's good. Can we keep one horse and cart in each line just to see how loud it gets? <laughs> no, the problem with keeping them on a line is because they only go 18 kilometers an hour. And they'll never go faster than that, at least not this version of them. Um, and then if we have a truck eventually in the future that can go 100 kilometers an hour, it'll just get stuck behind it. So we could do maybe a historic... We should do... Let's do a historic line. Oh, so a historic horse and cart line, specifically separate from all other lines. And we'll keep it forever. So let's do let's do a stop over here in the residential area. And I'll go over here, like I guess to the main town section, I guess. Hmm. If it goes here, it sort of covers more area. Kind of pointless line though, it's really short. But we're gonna keep it throughout the ages. Historic. So it's gonna be called historic. So then we know not to remove it. Oh actually I should probably say do not remove. So we know. Oh, I don't have a depot here. <laughs> the closest depot is like all the way over there. Well, it's a historic horse, so let's um the horse can make the journey. It's gonna be a little bus, one stagecoach. Wait, that's not even a Oh no, it is engine type horse. I just can't see the horse. Better be. Otherwise I'm gonna be real disappointed. That better be a horse. You upgrade or is there a timeline? Uh, so you can keep these vehicles forever. Um, and as time progresses, we haven't got anything new yet because they're still in 1857. But yeah, as time progresses, we unlock new vehicles and we can upgrade our existing vehicles. Okay, there are horses on it. It's okay, guys. Yeah! This is our historic do not remove line. <laughs> we can also change the color order if we want. Uh, I guess I need to go... I manage the vehicle. Oh, big button. Hmm. What color do we want? Brown because it's historic. Yeah! Maybe throughout history we can change the color of it. <laughs> That's the one thing we do, we repaint it. Yeah! Oh, that's fun. Let's do that for now. Did you know this color of paint originally had arsenic in it? Or at least a similar color to this. I think that's true. I don't know. Seems like something I've heard before. Kind of cool though. Like a mint. Colored with arsenic. It's fun times. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Well, it might also not be true, so maybe fact check that. Uh, <laughs> you would have started with 165.4 million US dollars and be paying 16.5 million for maintenance. That's our money um, adjusted for inflation. Yeah, that's kind of a lot of money. I feel like this game doesn't really account for that, but that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, also. Uh, Thing. I don't know when I last read out the subs, but thanks uh, Tyrion Jar and Mithla for the subs and resubs, and Alicia for the uh, 11 month as well. Um, cool. So we still got a bunch of planks here. I wonder if we need more in this line. Rate of 95. What are we doing over here? 172. That's actually still higher than it needs to be. So I guess it's probably fine. Unless we want to increase it. How's this going? Ooh, we have a lot of tools on this one. The Soltash. Yeah, we need more vehicles on this line. That's that's getting that's getting backed up. Let's maybe double this one. This one's still okay, because they've got such a short distance to go that it's fine. It's lead, not arsenic. I think arsenic was used to color something. 
I know lead has also been used in paint. I'm, I'm gonna Google this. I'm Googling this. What was arsenic used to color paint? Oh, I should probably Google what paint color. Um, it converted the arsenic into arsenic trioxide, a white colored, highly toxic compound historically used as, well, it was also used as rat poison. But I know it was used in paint. I swear. Maybe it wasn't arsenic. I don't know. <laughs> I should probably not be Googling this right now. It doesn't really matter. I think it was in makeup. It was used in green paint. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, which is what I was saying about our historic. Where's our historic? Is our historic line there yet? <laughs> it's lost $3,000. I can't imagine this line is ever going to make money. Oh, you know what? It might make money. There's 34 people wait. You know, we might actually need more vehicles on this line. I didn't actually expect we'd have 36 people waiting to get on it. It's coming here though, here it is. I guess we can, in the future, just reduce it down to one. Um, but right now we actually might need more. <laughs> so I might actually get another, let's get a depot down here. It's at the end of this little road. No, actually that's not, I'll block off that road. Let's do it over here. Um, we don't need too many. I think there's just a few people waiting there just because it's been a while. Like, we, we started the line and spawned the vehicle so far away. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll get these two. We're not going to recolor these ones. These are the non-historic ones. Our historic one is the arsenic colored one. That's not how you spell arsenic, is it? How do you spell arsenic? I feel like I'm spelling it wrong. Is there an E in there somewhere? Should I not be Googling arsenic? Is that a dangerous thing to Google? Yeah, there is an E in there. It's like actually spelled like arse Nick. Cool. Just think arse, yeah. Well, I'm probably on a list somewhere now. Uh, <laughs> for Googling arsenic and what it was used in. Great. Where, where's my arsenic course? This, <laughs> you hover over it. This was painted with arsenic. Great. And then this is 172, and that's 171. So now we're just going to remember never to remove this vehicle. I wish it was kind of like a... Like a thing we could do that says never remove it. You know, oh, I made money. Anyway, how are my lines actually doing? We've got 1.6 million, so we are actually making a bunch of money. This tools line is not doing so well. I think the reason is just because it's they go so far. And the sale, yeah, see, look, all these vehicles are all going one way, and there's a huge gap between the first one and the last one. Like, it has to go all the way back and then come back again. So I don't even know if we have enough yet. No, there's still a lot of them waiting there, so maybe we get more on that line. Do we double again? No, let's do another eight, maybe not double. Get another eight of them, whoops. I don't know if we need more for the town as well. Nah, three's probably fine. Um, mm, 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 mm. Cool. All right, so I think we've, we've got a pretty steady source of income right now. Uh, I think maybe we could set up a train. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at these vehicles. Look at all the vehicles just going around. Could we set up a train? From Ashby Woods. I mean, we're not going to be able to get the train right in here. We can do it over here somewhere, though. Still going to be really expensive, though. Let's go Passenger Terminus. Probably only one platform, because I don't know where else it's going to be going. I guess eventually we could tunnel in the future, but maybe we'll cross that tunnel when we come to it. <laughs> I mean, if I was talking about a bridge, it would have been better, but... Um, you know what? Maybe I won't... Do a terminus. Let's do a normal station, a non-terminus one. Because in case we want the rail to go that way later on, we can. So this is actually going to be quite far out of town. It's actually going to be over here. That's so high up. Let's do down over here. Down by the water, so it's like lower down. You know what? I need to move this road. This road's in the way. Oh, actually, there's new bulldoze stuff. Hey, does this not cost money? Oh, this is free now! Sweet! So this used to cost money, which is interesting. I wonder if it... Is it a setting? Because I feel like... Because interestingly, I was, playing the, I was playing the other day and I was bankrupt. 
<laughs> I was trying to like demolish stuff to save money, but I couldn't even remove my own stuff that was costing me money. But I guess now I can. Cool. Um, anyway, so this is going to go. No, she'll probably still stay this way. Yeah, that's probably fine. Let's do two tracks or two platforms because we might need them. We go about here somewhere. So it is an update. Yeah, I saw it in the update, but I wasn't when I read it. I wasn't sure because we went through the little list at the beginning of the stream. I wasn't sure if it was actually like just an option or like they actually changed it for everything. All right, so that's gonna go there. Uh, and now I'm gonna do something where we get a little bus stop here out front of the station instead of directly on a road. Go yeah, there. It's actually connected. What? The annoying thing is it only connects to the ends, like... <laughs> okay, I had it connected now. Okay, there we go. So that's now connected to this, so we can drop people off directly at the station like that. Uh, we will have the road go past this though. I'll rebuild the road in a second. I know I've got a warning saying the towns are disconnected, and I will reconnect them. Uh, okay, this is like that. I'm gonna use the... I guess right hand rail? Sure. I think I'm going to have one train for now, and then I'm going to build one rail. I'm not going to double track it, because it's going to cost too much money. Anyway, so this is where our track is going to go. We'll come up. Where the hell am I going with this? Because Will and Hall is not going to get me a lot of money. Saltash would get me more money. We need to build up Will and Hall more, which we are doing by delivering tools. Maybe we can also do machines, which we can make over here. But we need, oh, we need to make steel. That's hard. We're only 1859. It's hard to do all this stuff right now. It's so expensive. The other thing with the train is we don't want it to go too far because it will cost too much. Going to Hexham actually would probably be pretty good. This looks pretty sizable. So maybe we can go... This will probably maybe bridge here, even though it's going to be really expensive, but going up and around is going to be annoying. If we go here, stop at Willen Hall, and then go on to Hexham... That'll probably yield a good amount of money. Hmm. Okay. Let's also rebuild this road now. And then I can unpause and we can keep making money. Because that's kind of the... That's the main problem right now is we're not making money while we're paused. Oh. You know what? Let's use the new straight road tool. Hell yeah. See, this is what this is what I was saying before. With This is the old tool. This is all you can do. Um, and the problem was it's like, oh, I want to continue this road straight along. And it's like, oh. Oh. Even this way is still not right. Anyway, the new update lets you just do this, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> just handy. It's really handy. <laughs> um, all right, so this is gonna, this is actually gonna go past the uh, bus stop. <laughs> Whoa, how did you do that? Well, a while ago, when I wasn't really talking, I was kind of looking at my other screen, I was resizing the camera for the next time I wanted to use it. So... <laughs> Worth it! Alright, there we go. Uh, Alright, so then, Dr. Glowen would be proud. I reckon he'd be proud of me. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna go there. So then, we just basically connect up our historic line, which I think... Yeah, we'll just connect it to the same... Um, line. We'll just extend it. <clears throat> How's Doc gonna feel about you stealing his content? It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> that took me way, long, way too long to do because I was trying to get the hat on. Alright, so this is gonna keep me out this way. We can unpause now, I think, as well. <clears throat> uh, Alright, so that's good. Yeah, that's all on pause. That's good. So it's gonna come up around this way. We didn't change our name. So, okay. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, we've been... So myself, Dr. Gluon... Uh, oh, whoops. I probably built a little too far there. Myself, Dr. Gluon... Oh, see, this is a new update too. You actually get a refund on this. On these builds. That's good. You just have to pay to demolish it. Which I guess it also, it does make sense. I kind of didn't mind having to pay. Because I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Like why, it wouldn't be free to get demolishing crew. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, it's nice that we got money back. Um, 
So yeah, if you didn't know, myself, Dr. Gluon, uh, Vixella, and Critic Zeus, uh, we've been doing these Minecraft championships. And if you don't know what it is, I don't know, why am I trying to go up? I don't know, just, we're not gonna have boats here. If you don't know what it is, it's basically, there's a bunch of teams, like up to 10 teams, I think maybe there was 14 in the first one. Uh, and we all compete in Minecraft mini games to become the Minecraft champ, like to win the Minecraft championship. And it's got like pretty notable people in it. Uh, this is a really slow corner, but that's okay for now. We can maybe update it later. Pretty notable people in it. And then there's like us, a team of simmers. And it's, I, I don't really know. Oh, I think it's because Sasha is like friends with the guy that's like organizing it. So I think that's kind of why he like invited us to it. Which is nice. I mean, it's been so much fun doing it. It's pretty funny because we're all terrible at it. And then I just get, because it's always at like 7 a.m. my time. And I normally go to bed at like two or three in the morning. So I have to wake up super early to do this thing. And because I don't really know how to play any of the mini games, I'm always, I'm really bad at it. And then I just get mad because I suck at it. And then, so I'm really like, <laughs> really grumpy during it. And it's so funny. Anyway, so we did the first one. We did really bad. And then we're like, okay, we got invited to the second one for some reason. Um, and we're like, okay, this time we're going to train. We're going to practice. Uh, and we did that. Uh, we did, we, we tried playing some mini games, uh, you know, before the next one to get better at them. And we did it. And we, we still came last, you know. <laughs> We still did not win. Well, we're not, I don't think we're ever going to win it, but we didn't We didn't improve. Well, no, that's not true. We improved. We got more points. We earned more points, and we did better than ourselves the first time. Anyway, so we've been invited to the third one, um, which is on March 14th, actually like a week from now. Uh, well, I guess a week and a few hours from now. Um, so it'll be again. Anyway, so we, and we've been named... Uh, our, our team name was Blue Bats. And I hated it at first because, like I said, I was angry and I was tired and I, I was slagging on the name Blue Bats. Like, we didn't choose that. I didn't want that. But then they changed it in this new one with Green Guardians. And I've grown accustomed to Blue Bats and it's really sad. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, <laughs> so that's the story of Minecraft minigames, which uh, Dr. Gluon uh, normally streams it. Um, sometimes Zeus also streams it. Oh, actually, I think he's streamed it both times. So Critic Zeus also streams it so you can watch us doing it live. And if I'm feeling like it, so I, I said this last time, I was like, if I'm feeling like it, I'll stream it. <laughs> that sounds salty at all. No, dude, that's uh, so funny. I guess so like, during it, I'm salty because it's 7 a.m. Um, I need a stupid log. I need to go around this and go back this way. This is kind of annoying because now I've built this wavy track. Um, I said it last time, I was like, if I'm feeling awake enough, I'll stream it, because it's at 7 a.m., so it's kind of annoying for me. Because, I, I, like I said, my sleeping doesn't usually line up with it that well. I'm on the left track. I should probably try and keep doing that. Um, yeah, Zeus streams it and Gluon streams it as well. Anyway, it's it's, it's fun. It, it is good fun. Um, anyway, we're all in it again next weekend, so <laughs> that should be good fun. Um, all right, so we've got our train tracks. Spent a lot of money. We don't even have a uh, train yet, which is also a lot of money. And we only have one track, so we're going to go back and forth. This is going to be the uh, Ashby to... Where are we going? Uh, Hexham. Train. And we need a train depot, so we can actually buy a train. Uh, also, thanks Jessica Olsen for the uh, tier one sub or resub and spark out for the sub as well. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, let's do a depot here somewhere. I guess for now that'll be fine. Does that mean I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to watch it? Yep. It means I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to be in it. So you can feel my pain and you can, <laughs> you can feel my grouch live <laughs> at 7 a.m. All right, so that's, that's going to be connected. Now, how much is the train going to cost me? Right, so the only locomotive we have is the D1 third, or I guess one slash three. I don't know how they want to say it. It's 40 kilometers an hour. Great, so let's get that. Uh, and then we can take passengers in the D1 third coach, D1 three, I don't know. Uh, you know what? It's actually not that expensive, but they only take six passengers. Ah, we can afford this! We can make six- that's not gonna make us any money. 
So really, I'd probably want about 30 to start off with. So we need 900,000, which is fine. But before we do that, we also need to extend our other lines. A historic line. You know what? I need to do it a separate historic line because this is going to get real confusing real fast because this line is actually useful. So I'm going to do a historic... Oh, historic coastal, like, scenic tour. Yes. So this is a complete waste of money, by the way, what I'm doing right now, but... Oh, oh no, I didn't... Yeah, we're going to have, like, a... The Stark is going to come along here. James can be funny when he's salty. Yeah, see, that's what I think. But then some people take it too seriously. <laughs> and then, then I just look like a jerk. Just fair enough. I mean, not everyone likes salt. I think it's funny. <laughs> uh, let me go down here. So the scenic, we're going to go like, maybe we can have it connect through here or something. It's our scenic route. Maybe we'll start at the same stop, but it'll be like on the other side and it'll come like down here and it'll go like and then go all the way up. Like it'll be a really long cumbersome route that I hope no one will actually use just because it shouldn't make sense for it for them to use it. So what we'll do, we'll do this. And it's going to go all the way up and around. It's going to come up here <laughs> and then come back down this way. So we're going to get buildings, bus and tramps up. Whoa, hello. I'm going to go there. So one on both sides. On both sides. And I'm hoping, I think you can, I don't know if this, does it work for these guys as well? Historic do not remove. Manage line. Oh good, you can set what side they're on. So this is actually going to be renamed. No, it's not. This is our historic line. It's not going to be renamed. We'll just move the vehicles to the other one. So the historic one, I'm just going to pause because I'm going to have to change all of this. It's going to start on the other side. So on this side, can you get rid of the main street stop? Actually, no, we're not. What I need to do, hang on. I need a waypoint. We probably need a lot of waypoints. So waypoints, we can just set where the line goes manually. So it's going to go here, here. I think I'm going to have to do it every block. Otherwise, it's going to keep trying to turn in. <laughs> here. We literally have to force it to go as far, like, far around as we can make it go. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to go. So Victoria Street. Waypoint, waypoint, waypoint. I guess you could just go back to the same stop, but we'll try and actually make it. Maybe someone will use it. Oh, hello. Too few stations? What are you talking about? There we go. <laughs> All right, so it does a basically a big tour of this coastal. I mean, that's pretty cool. Too bad it's going to be useless. So that's that. Uh, is it? It's on the correct side, yeah? Cool, cool. So now we're going to do a new line. So this is going to be the actual bus line that's useful. The number one, which is... I don't actually know which side that it... Yeah, number one's correct. And then it will go to Main Street. And then it's going to go down to the train station. Because that's actually going to be useful. And we'll stop at Main Street again on the other side. Which I don't think it should be fine. And then it'll go back. So this is Ashby bus. Sure, I'll be fine. So then... Where's the arsenic one? This is not the arsenic one, so we can manage this. These two need to go on to the other line. Ashby bus. And we keep this was painted with art. <laughs> Wait, did that get cut off? It did get cut. That's so funny. It does say arsenic, but it perfectly gets cut off. <laughs> this was painted with arse. Great. <sighs> Perfect. That is that. That actually could not be better. Right. So that's there. <laughs> uh, I might. We'll probably need to get some more buses on that line because it's quite long. And I, I suspect when we get the train running, it will actually.